there's a monkey in your mind. You know what I'm talking about. Don't be shy. Don't feel ashamed or embarrassed. There's no need to deny it. We've all got one telling us what to do, what we want, what we don't want. I call mine Trevor. Sometimes he seems small and harmless and fun to be around. Sometimes he seems big and powerful, a dangerous idiot who doesn't know his own strength and whose real anger knows virtually no limits. I must never forget that he's there, waiting to take control. Trevor wants everything. Wherever I look, there's something that Trevor wants. I never asked for this. To always want is to never be at peace, even when all you want is peace. Thanks for the shit sandwich, Trevor. Trevor chooses what I find attractive. Trevor chooses what team I support. Trevor makes most of my mistakes. Trevor makes me say stupid things and do stupid things. He makes me look a fool. He can blind me to the obvious. He is the giver of false impressions. He is my instinct, my subconscious. When Trevor gets cut up in traffic, I feel a moment where I know he'd like to take the wheel and run somebody off the road. Sometimes the effort of controlling him makes my heart pound. You'd think that I'd hate him. But I can't. I have to live with him. He and I are one. I must make peace with him. And though I inherited from him all that I would change, what would life be without emotion? Whatever our common ancestor was, they were not so different. They had something like wonder, kindness, curiosity, courage, empathy, joy, the bond of friendship, a sense of humor, a sense of fun. Far from shame at where we came from, what we still struggle with, I can normally only wonder at how far we have come against cosmic odds. You may say I'm romanticizing. You just see a violent ape or look down on humanity as pointless dust. And you'd be right, both times. But that's the truth for you. There's more than one way to look at it and still be factually accurate. I see a piece of universe in a daze, wondering what the hell is going on, with the unfortunate naturally evolved tendency to believe what it's told and all too often latching on to the first answer it is given. And I pity it. One cannot hate what one pities. Humans get a bum rap. To me, the human is what overcomes instinct, not what falls to it. You need to understand emotions. Instincts are far more often wrong than right. To survive within us, they only need to be right when they need to be right. How many times have you jumped at a harmless sound compared to the number of times that that instinct has saved your life? It must be thousands to one against. Instincts are frighteningly often wrong, but they're always there pulling your strings, shaping you. The fears, lusts, rage, bigotry, hatred, racism, greed, selfishness, judgmentalism, Trevor is very religious. Trevor needs constant reassurance. That's why Trevor's religious. It can't be healthy to deny the obvious. There's a short-tempered, idiotic, small-minded, judgmental, egocentric, easily tempted, paranoid bigot mind monkey in your head. And it's scared. And it's confused and it's ashamed of its body, and it's ashamed of its nature, and it doesn't want to be the one thing it must be, not realizing that it's so much more than just an ape. Most people can't see it. Most simply don't know enough of the truth, the facts, that they are energy made solid, consciousness and form from a harmony of natural forces. We might possess the only eloquent eyes that will ever exist, we might be the universe's poetry, its only chance to know itself, ever. War, war has got monkey written all over it. Why do you bow to kings and men with more expensive ties and bigger cars? You think because you don't piss in the street that you're in control of your instincts? Wrong. We think it's our idea that we decide what we will do, how we will react. But it's the feelings that Trevor gives us 
the emotions, the envy, the anger, frustration, so many fears. This is how it gets us to do its bidding. It's the humans caged by the monkey this time. Yes, we kill. Slaughter, murder, torture, exploit, steal. But don't you see? That's Trevor. That's what Trevor does. That's what Trevor does to us. That's what we're up against. The inner ape is our only enemy. Why do you think people will risk their marriages, their children, their family, everything they love, even their lives, for a piece of ass? Well, what else is there? What else is there? asks the man at the back. And that's my point. That's Trevor talking. Fight your mind monkey. Take control. Reason against reflex. Instincts lose much of their power over you when you understand them. The only way to be at peace is to get to know your inner monkey. Train it. Train it just like you would train a real monkey. Most of all, show them love and beauty. But remember, it can only look where you look. They can only see what you see. You must show them. You must look for the beauty.